Hello everyone, hope you all are doing good. And in this video, we are going to discuss how AWS invalidated my result and uh, how I appealed against it and what are the actions which you can take in case you face and uh, should you take the exam at home or at the center. So we are going to discuss each and everything in detail. And uh, so like after the exam, once uh, you gave the exam at home. So just after that, they show you that whether you have passed or failed. So just after giving the exam, at the end of your ex um, like exam, they are going to tell you that whether you have passed or failed. Okay, so that is uh, like after that. So they take like in the in the mail, they tell them they they take five days to give you a certificate. Okay, so I was waiting for same, but after two two days. Like I got a mail that uh, this was the mail intimation that uh, they have detected statistical anom anomalies. So like, I don't know what that mean. And I have done some research over it. I have uh, taken their like their security page kind of thing. And I have seen over Reddit also. So it happens uh, like once in 100 or 1000. So it happened. It has already happened with some of the guys before. So like there are three results which are um, either you pass or you fail or they invalidate your result. So generally they invalidate after you pass your exam and uh, if they find anything like suspicious about it. So they invalidate your uh, result and after that uh, if you have taken any previous certification so like they have told that uh, they cancel that also. So let's say you have uh, passed your practitioner one and after that you are taking the solution architect and if he, they found something fishy over here, they are going to cancel this um, other one also. Okay, so like this was the mail intimation which I got and uh, here it says that perform forensic like some forensic analysis on your AWS uh, architect exam. Like I have hidden my registration number and they like you are allowed to uh, retake exam and uh, like some sole discretion and all that so i have done a phd over it like what all can be done so after some time like i replied to them that uh, like what was the like what is that uh, thing that uh, like push them to cancel my exam so my certification so they team uh, they found out uh, that there is some additional testing and performance data so like even if you are taking the exam and you are marking the uh, like results very quickly so you just read it and um, like selected a b c then like they have their certain conditions and uh, some background checks which they found so what happened in my case that after like taking the exam so let me tell you that before you take the exam they check all your surroundings so your table should not have any extra monitors there should be not a single pen or paper or anything like they check your uh, surroundings and all through the course of the exam your mic and your camera is always on so you cannot move you cannot talk to anyone and even after that like what happened in my case that there was some sound coming from outside okay so that uh, i thought is the problem and after the exam like just after giving the exam i took the uh, photo so i just uh, quickly grabbed my phone just to take a screenshot so that was a stupid mistake on my part so like later in the uh, video i'll tell you what all things you should avoid if you're taking the exam from home and whether you should take the exam from home or from the center okay and uh, like i appealed it and after like uh, two to three weeks so they replied to it and uh, they, they, and they told that uh, like there are some testing anomalies and their result is final they are not going to change uh, their result in any case so after uh, they done it in it in april so i lost the motivation to reappear in exam because uh, once you are in the uh, mindset of giving the exam and after clearing it so all this process took me around um, one month like one to 1.5 months the last mail and after that i thought okay if i have to repair i'll repair again but uh, 
like i was not in a mood to uh, reappear for reappear for the exam but again last month i took the exam and uh, just to be uh, like sure and uh, so i took the exam from an exam center okay so there like the experience was okay and um, finally like uh, they activated it uh, again so this was the one uh, this was the one which was invalidated and this was the one which like i gave the last month and uh, this was the status so the architect associate uh, this certification is right now active because of this pass and earlier uh, it was invalidated so like you will not see any benefit or anything so this was the certificate now coming to the part that should you take it from home or your center so there are certain like there is i have talked to my friends few of my friends have taken it from home and they haven't found any issue but again like there are some variables so you have to see that your wifi is always on like you should be connected to power your laptop okay and in between like uh, your computer should not update like these are the few things uh, when i was uh, doing my phd over how they can invalidate the result so these are the things uh, which you should keep in mind if you are taking from home and again like if you live in like the major cities so the centers are in delhi ncr bangalore hyderabad so you can easily find your center within 50 kilometers of range from your home okay and the benefit of taking the exam from center is that you just have to reach the exam center and you don't have to look into all those variables that okay my wifi can get down or like and one more things like uh, maybe your some child can come into your room even though you have locked it but uh, he can like create some noise so it should be noiseless environment again like your the major thing is that your wifi can get down so you don't have any control over your wifi even if you have two modems so there is uh, there is some time required to again uh, get down to the next modem so there is a like latency in between so you don't you have to avoid it so my suggestion to you is that take the exam from center at there you don't have to worry about anything you just have to like reach the exam center and i took the uh, exam in noida so i found it pretty much comfortable like the chair and the environment was all okay um, again at home like everything was okay and the result was passed but still like they invalidated invalidated it so i found that if you are taking the exam then my preference will be take it from center otherwise like you can take it from home also okay so that was it and uh, maybe in the next video uh, we can discuss uh, uh, how you can actually um, like prepare after like clearing your certification and guys if you haven't uh, like seen my previous video regarding my notes so i have made some notes for this exam and i have provided a link and in my previous video you can watch and you can click on the i button also to see that video and get that uh, get those notes okay so i think uh, this was it and you still like if you have got this invalidated result then you can simply like appeal and uh, i'm sure if your appeal is genuine they are going to look but uh, like most of the time their uh, decision is full and final so they don't entertain it like they don't change it uh, what i have researched so better uh, to take the exam from center and there and one more thing i want to tell you that if you take an exam from center so there they don't uh, like tell the result uh, directly so just after giving the exam you will not like um, <coughs> so after giving the exam it will take 2 days to declare your result and if you take it from home then immediately you get to know that whether you have passed or not so this is also a difference that if you take the exam from center there you won't be getting your result immediately but after 2 to 3 days and max is 5 days and uh, like when i took the exam from center so there also like i get a mail uh, that um, like your exam is under this uh, scrutiny and uh, 
all that but after that like they give my give me my certificate so it happens like sometimes uh, so what happened when i gave the exam at the center is that uh, i have to change my computer just because i was sitting in front of ac so i was uh, feeling too much uh, like the uh, air was coming directly on me and uh, i requested the invigilator that uh, to shut down the ac uh, so there were some other guys also in the center that uh, they were giving an exam so what she did is that uh, she changed my seat so there was uh, like a lag in between but it it's okay because there at the center the exam is conducted via server so you can sit on any seat so that doesn't matter so these are the benefits which you get of giving the exam at center and there is no extra cost so personally like even in future also so whatever the exams which i'll take i'll take it from center and if you are in remote location let's say your the nearest exam center is more than 100 kilometers then obviously like you should take it from home and most of uh, my friends which are, which uh, have taken the exam from home didn't face any difficulty but again like telling that there are some variables which you have to keep in mind okay so again it all up to you and uh, i hope you found this video helpful thank you guys for watching this